Ladies and gentlemen, we are playing Herald of the Sun Holy Paladin on the War Within Beta with the latest changes that were just implemented to the class in general, so let's dive straight into it. Now, if you haven't heard this already, there were huge changes to Paladin with some talents being completely removed, Glimmer of Light is gone, Daybreak is gone, and everything related to them is also either gone or changed. This makes the playstyle a lot smoother and I would say much better to play with. You can also check my other video when I'm talking about the Lightsmith Paladin. Those changes are covered there as well. The main node for the Herald of the Sun Paladin has been renamed to Dawnlight. You cast Holy Prism and then your next two Holy Spenders are empowered to leave either a Dot or a Hot on your target, depending if it's an enemy or an ally which also radiates part of its value to nearby allies or enemies. Your main holy spender, Word of Glory, is also replaced by Eternal Flame, which leaves another hot on your targets and it's more effective if it's cast on yourself. And then you get your capstone talent, which is called Sun's Avatar. Once you pop your wings, you spread dawn lights around you, you get connected to them through beams and everybody passing through those beams is either healed or damaged. Now, of course, this looks really cool, no doubt about that, and it also makes you think a little bit about your positioning once you pop your wings to maximize those beams' value. It also feels pretty nice to play with, the extra hots, the empowered words of glories, the extra power when you pop your wings, all of that is amazing, and maybe I had a little bit higher expectations, but I was expecting this to be even more powerful than it already is. Now keep in mind that I just played this when a set of nerves settled in and there's probably a lot more tuning to come in, so I would assume this is probably going to feel a little bit different once it comes close to the release date, but it's definitely pretty good right now as well and it feels miles better than the Holy Paladin on retail, so it's definitely a huge step in the right direction of bringing Holy Paladin back. Now, of course, there's more coming with the talent tree, and the first thing to mention here is that Holy Shock and Holy Spenders actually feel good now. They are empowered by your tier set, but you're also getting a few talents that help on top of that. First, while you have Downlights active, your Holy Spenders deal additional 10% damage and healing, and while they're active, you also get increased haste, which is stacking. On top of that, you get a whole bunch of talents that increase the critical strike of your Holy Shock and Light of Dawn, they leave a hot on your target if they critical strike, and there's also a small chance for them to recast at reduced effectiveness. All of that makes pressing these buttons fun and satisfying yet again, which was not the case in retail. And there's even another talent which 2 times per minute is going to empower your Holy Shocks to do 200% increased effectiveness which feels really good and it's definitely now moving the health bars back as it should have been before all the nerfs. You even get a talent which increases your synergy with Holy Prism, which activates the dawn lights at first place. You're also getting a free divine purpose after you use that button, which simply buffs your next Holy Power Spender and it makes it free. That synergizes even better with another talent that you get on the regular Paladin tree. Holy Prism buffs your next Holy or Flashlight, which you can then combine with the infusions of light to cast this monstrous holy light, which is like a small lay on hand. Now, I've talked about the infusions of light in the Lightsmith's video as well. It's kind of weird to stop milling and then start casting, but those holy lights are so powerful that it's kind of also feeling bad to waste them. So, at the end of the day, I think that's just something that we have to get used to a little bit more, and it could be quite beneficial if you get stuck out of range and you have to heal from distance. Every video so far I've made in this series has a section where we talk about the bad nodes, the bad talents, the things that need to be improved, but surprisingly, Herald of the Sun actually looks pretty solid. Yes, it has this choice node which is completely useless in Rate and Mythic Plus, this time at least it gives uh, increased movement speed, which you can argue is better than some of the other classes. And it also lacks a pure defensive node, apart from Eternal Flame healing you for 25% increased effectiveness. 
However, when you consider how tanky the Paladin is, the amount of utility you have to save yourself, including immunity, I don't think the lack of defensive node is going to be that problematic for this hero talent spec. So, in conclusion, at the end of the day, apart from the PvP node that's always there for all the classes, everything else seems to be top notch. If we're to compare the two hero talent specs, Herald of the Sun definitely seems like the spec that's going to have more throughput when it comes to healing, as you get more value from the dawn lights, from the internal flame, and when you pop your wings from the beams that connect you to the dawn lights, the holes that you live when you crit. So unless something goes terribly wrong with the tuning, I think Herald of the Sun is going to outperform Lightsmith when it comes to healing. The benefits of the Lightsmith, of course, is that you have this huge defensive there that you can cast on somebody else as well, which is not bad at all, and it could actually be viable playstyle in some higher keys as well. I had a lot of fun playing both specs, nevertheless. When it comes to damage, we can't really compare them because Lightsmith right now is broken and it does insane amounts of damage, but that is definitely getting fixed. And even outside of this context, Herald of the Sun gives you the choice how to use your abilities, whether you want to use them for healing and damage. While the passiveness of the Lightsmith weapons is something that you don't have that much control over, but only tuning will tell which one is going to prevail in that department. When it comes to raiding though, I think Herald of the Sun is going to be the pure winner there. Not only because of the throughput that we already mentioned, but as you saw, it actually has a lot of talents that are trying to buff Light of Dawn as well. Now, I haven't tested in Raid yet. I casted Light of Dawn in M+, just a few times to see how much it does. Uh, it doesn't do a lot, actually. Even with all the talents buffing it, but I can definitely see this being a viable spec, especially since we consider there might be more tuning coming up in the weeks to come. So that would be Herald of the Sun, Holy Paladin on the beta for you. Keep an eye on this channel as I have more beta stuff coming up and of course content about the rest of the healer hero talents that I'm currently testing. I'll see you in the next video. Now get out of here.